Hello, everyone. I'm Michelle Thomas, the Director of Student Organizations and Diversity for the Farmer School of Business. Today, I'm going to talk to you about filling the pipeline to diversity. So let's get started. In the Farmer School of Business, we have three key initiatives that we're focusing on. The first one is developing a DEI strategic plan, recruitment of underrepresented students, that's number two, and then number three is retention of underrepresented students. So let's get started. The development of a DEI strategic plan really is thinking about how are we going to coordinate and take the things that we're doing in the Farmer School of Business and align them with our strategic plan and our goals. The new dean, Jenny Derrick, along with partners such as myself and others across the campus are going to be looking at how we devise a strategic plan for the Farmer School. This plan, again, will amplify the things that we're doing well and synthesize, synthesize everything that we're doing in the Farmer School of Business and coordinate our efforts and streamlining those processes. Number two, recruitment of underrepresented students, focusing on pipeline programs in Farmer. Let's talk about that first. So one of the things that we do in the Farmer School of Business, and I love to do, is we have a variety of diversity camps. These are pipeline initiatives and programs in the Farmer School where we're talking to students who are in the 10th and 11th grade, and we're inviting them to campus for three nights and two days and having them talk to us about the things that are important to them and what they're looking at at potential schools. We're able to put them up, give them a tour of campus, they stay in the residence hall, and then we also really invite the parents as partners with us on the three days so that they too can learn about the initiatives in the Farmer School of Business. One of the things about Discovery You in Business that's very important is that we take them off campus to learn about the incredible blue chip companies that we have right here in Cincinnati. This is a great opportunity for students to touch, taste, and feel a business or corporation that they think that they could be interested in. And of course, these companies are very interested in them and helping them in terms of getting that internship or full-time job. The second day is more interactive where we're actually talking to companies and doing different exercises with them and unpacking some of the troubles that they have within their corporations. These students work together to really work on some of the issues that are going on inside these companies. They learn teamwork, presentation skills, and the ability to really solve problems. So Discover You in Business is one of those programs that we have at the Farm School of Business is something that we really strive for every summer with our high school students. And then moving on to the second initiative, which is the Miami Accounting Program. Yes, accounting can be fun. This is the second camp that we offer in the Farmer School. Again, hitting the same demographic, students from Cincinnati, Dayton, and Columbus, all talented, diverse students that are ready to learn about the accounting profession. All of these camps are free and are subsidized from the big four accounting firms. We also look at their strengths, their talents and abilities, and how they, they can apply that within the camp. We also have free sessions on ACT and college prep. This allows our students to be able to hit the ground running and have that winning college essay so that they apply to the farmer school. They hopefully will be accepted. We also do a number of other initiatives to be able to recruit really talented students of color. So we have something called Yield Events. These take place in Columbus, Cincinnati, and Dayton and Cleveland. These are intimate programs and events within the variety of cities, and we just talk to them, and we bring our faculty and students, and we just talk to them about the Farmer School of Business, but we also talk to them about what are they interested in in terms of a potential school and fit. The other thing that's really important is that parents get to join this as well. That's important because we all know that parents are involved a lot in the college decision-making process. We also like to have other programs on campus to really highlight our talented faculty and staff. So we have something called Mini Shadowing Day. This is a day where we bring 10th graders from a variety of different schools in the Cincinnati area, and they come unpack and learn more about what the Farmer School of Business has to offer. Of course, all of these camps and yield events are done with the idea of tracking all of the students that come so that we can engage them and their families further and making sure that if they're interested in Farmer, they have all of their questions asked. So we collaborate a lot with the Office of Admissions. They are our partners. 
The other thing that we do in terms of recruitment um, is looking at what else is on the horizon that we can do in terms of supplementing our summer camps. So these are some ideas that you see. We're thinking of launching, once we have resources, an entrepreneurship camp, finance camp, and also a camp that's focused on our game-changing first-year integrated core, the FYIC. So let's talk a little bit about some of our partners, the things that we look at the farmer school business, engagement with others to be able to attract talented, diverse high school students to be able to think about the destination place of farmer. Um, we look at our different community building projects and community partners such as College Now, Minds Matter, and DePaul Crystal Ray. We also ask a lot of our faculty and our alumni, our black faculty and staff and alumni, to help us create a pipeline and again help us recruit talented, diverse students across the many cities in the state of Ohio. We also are looking forward to fostering relationships with a lot of the guidance counselors in the Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, and Cleveland area. But also we want to go outside of the state of Ohio because we know that a large talent pool of students, diverse talent, are in those areas as well. So let's talk about money, right? A lot of talented, diverse students need money. They need scholarships. So we have two incredible opportunities for these students. One is the Ryan Family Scholars. This is a generous gift of $1 million that was given by Jim and Michelle Ryan. They have the foresight to actually think about what is it that is important in recruiting talented students. And of course, it's resources, it's money, and they decided to actually create a scholarship and align them with the Passport program, which I'll discuss later. And they have an opportunity to interact with these incredible Ryan Scholars. We choose three every year, and we're in our second cohort this year with three talented scholars. Not far behind that is the Passport program Olson Scholars, another generous gift of $500,000 that was given by an alumna, an alumnus as well. And so this is a program, again, aligning money with talented, diverse students. So let's take a deeper dive in one of our retention areas, which is the Passport Program and the Pre-Semester Boot Camp. We'll unpack that together. So this is a four-year high-touch student success program, and it targets talented, underrepresented students. This is the benefits that we've aligned with being involved in this program. So one of the things I've learned as being a first-gen college student myself, I wish I had passport when I was a student here at Miami University. So this is a program where we have early move-in, again, for diverse students. The cohort is usually between 23 and 26 students. And we make sure that they have ambassadors, peer mentors. We also align them with academic programs and academic advising, all in the effort to make sure that they succeed from that transition from high school to college. So they will act as a cohort, and they'll go through a number of different classes together. These classes we have identified are the toughest classes, and it helps them if they're together, working together with that faculty member as a cohort. So we put them all in the same class together. We also put in front of them really great professional development opportunities and workshops. We know that parents send their kids to make sure that they have opportunities to get seen by employers. A part of that is being able to have professional development. Resume, workshops of course, that's a part of the strategy, but also how to present yourself in front of an employer. We talk about that in the boot camp. So, Let's move on to exploring some things in that boot camp and what we do during the four-day program. So as I said, we bring them here for four days and we put them through a number of different expectations. There's the academic component, of course, making sure that they meet with their advisor. And then there's the career piece for years one and two. We want them to take just a little bit of an opportunity to get to know how do you network at career fair and a, a number of different uh, uh, partnerships that we have out there with companies, making sure they feel comfortable working with those companies. And then also, the key thing is providing leadership and mentorship. A lot of our students making that transition from high school to college, they don't understand what's coming at them. 
We need to let them know through peer mentoring that they have people that are standing by their side ready to help them be a successful student in the Farmer School of Business. So we do a lot of mentoring. They have to meet with me, of course, and do a number of other things in the program. Years three and four, we actually ramp it up on the career piece. Yes, they need to make sure they're checking the box on their GPA, but they also need to make sure that they're networking and they're having opportunities to go to career fair, go to spring, spring ice and spring career fair, and have a chance to be able to get that job or internship that they want. So we really stress that in years three and four. Again, leadership and mentoring is also a part of the strategy. So we work hard with them to make sure they're always keeping track with their mentors and checking in with their people. Now, talking about the boot camp a little bit, just giving you some of the highlights. We bring them, they actually have to come early. Four days, they move in early to Stanton Hall, which is the new LLC. And then they're gonna be given a campus tour along with their parents. They're gonna have bonding experiences. As you can see, we make sure we give them the opportunities to understand what it's like to build a peer group, a friend group. And but what is it like, too, to be able to navigate and have time management skills? This is something that's very difficult, I think, for high school students when they transition to, to Miami or any college. So we really make sure that they have an opportunity to understand those challenges. We also want them to understand what's coming their first semester with the first year integrated core, the FYIC. That is a game-changing four-course class, different classes, that they will be taking. And this has a coding component. They also have to take a communications class. These are four classes that are aligned with making sure that they're successful. And they have a client challenge with that first year integrated core. And they can do that right away, having a client challenge presenting in front of a client, which is huge. I love being involved in Passport. As I said earlier, I wish I had a program like this when I came to Miami. It's an opportunity to create friendships, bonds that will hopefully last and endure their entire four years. Let's talk about the secret sauce of the Passport program, which is our peer leaders, and I call them Passport Ambassadors. They're involved in the program. They are the faces of the program because they know what it was like. These are students that are in their junior and senior year. They know what it was like to make that transition from high school to college. I position them in a place such as Passport to be able to work with the Passport students to actually talk to them about you know, what it was for them in terms of that transition. What were the success strategies that they had, the tools that they were able to use and unpack so that they could be successful. These peer mentors are with them their entire time, their first year, and we make sure that they keep in touch with them regularly as, again, they make that transition. I'm very proud of the Passport students, and I'm very proud of these ambassadors who are really excellent mentors, uh, and they provide a lot of leadership, so I give them a lot of credit. Let's talk about retention, which is my number three. Retention is very important. Once we get students into the farmer school, we have to retain them. There are a number of different strategies as to how we do that. The first one is the Multicultural Business Association, MBA. I love this group. I am their uh, advisor. I have been for several years. This is a group that's student run, obviously, but they provide such support to all students of color and multicultural students, regardless of major. So we invite students every week to come join us where we have a lot of different companies coming to source talent from the MBA group because they want them. They want these students and they want them to have internships and hopefully full-time jobs. The MBA group is also a very important liaison and partner with our new dean, Jenny Derrick. She meets with them every other week where they talk about the strategies and ideas behind DE&I. So she's been an incredible mentor and support system for the MBA group. We also have very notable events within the Multicultural Business Association. We've put on a variety of town, town halls, and these are actually events where we can unpack and discuss in an intellectual way and have honest dialogue about race, about LGBTQ plus issues, and also 
what is MBA? So our partners across the campus can understand the mission and vision of this incredible organization. And again, let's not forget that we have incredible companies that come, that come to MBA to source talent, but also to help become mentors to these incredible students. I can't thank you enough for your time. This has been incredible. Again, my name is Michelle Thomas, and I'm the Director of Student Organizations and Diversity for the Farmer School of Business. Thank you for your time and attention today.